video for Operation okay. Christmas okay. Child. <laughs> Every year, millions of children around the world are impacted by the message of good news and great joy that comes through Operation Christmas Child. New churches are planted. Children are discipled through the greatest journey and the gospel is proclaimed. None of this would happen without those that we call project leaders that are taking their passion and inspiring others to pack shoebox gifts with Operation Christmas Child. If someone has to ask, why should we take the energy and the time to pack a shoebox full of love for the children of the world, then they're asking the wrong question. When we do a shoebox, our folks know that some child will hear the gospel. And so the more you kind of understand that idea, the more you want to pack more boxes. great idea to set goals with your church. It gets them excited, it pushes them to do even more than the last year. When we put a number out there, we say to ourselves, if God's not in it, uh, we're not going to reach it. And so it grows your faith, it challenges you, and um, you see God working. As a pastor, I, I like to think in terms of measurable and attainable goals. And if one of your goals is to fulfill the Great Commission, this is an incredible way. As the churches, as you know, as the youth groups, you are directly impacting people all around the world with the gospel. There's lots of people who come to churches and they may not have a gift uh, to be able to sing or to teach, but they do have the ability and the joy behind it to pack a shoebox, to involve their family. And uh, it's a real joy for them to know that God's using them because they look at those boxes and they say, I wonder who's going to get that one. Hosting a packing party is a great way to bring the whole church together. Many churches will do an item of the month collection leading up to their packing party, and they'll consider ways that they can raise funds to cover the $7 suggested donation per shoe box as well. Hosting a packing party is a great way to get your church involved and also bring in people from your community. <laughs> this is our annual Operation Christmas Child Shoe Box event. It started off as a little tiny event and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm really grateful that you guys are here because this helps to tell the story of how other people can do packing parties and influence not only just to pack more boxes but also to, to use it as a way to minister to their friends and family and their neighbors. Hosting a packing party is a great way to bring the whole church together and it can become an event that people look forward to year after year. For Operation Christmas Child to grow in your church, you have got to get the youth involved. Bam! It's a great opportunity to teach children generosity, helping to meet the needs of others, and that God can use their efforts to reach out to places around the world. We talk it up year round. In the Sunday schools, the children know about it. They talk about it all the time. The children are there to remind mom and dad, hey, we need to get that stuff for the shoebox. When are we going to pack the shoeboxes? It's just part of our culture now. Many churches will have fun with this as well, involving youth, middle school, and high school in friendly competitions to see who can pack the most shoebox gifts. One of the things that we've seen over the past 20 plus years is that we've had kids grow up uh, packing shoe boxes. Now they're grown up, they have their own kids, and now their kids as a family. This continues to be a part of really their ministry. Serving as a project leader is a great investment. As we engage people to pack shoe box gifts with Operation Christmas Child, we're reaching more children and we're making more disciples. Thank you. Um, the deadline for this is ne next Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Pierre Oli, for some announcements. Uh, for additional <coughs> announcement, 
Um, <clears throat> we would like to encourage uh, uh, 56 people to join us on November 28th uh, to watch uh, the miracle of Christmas. We can use this as an opportunity to invite our friends who, uh, who doesn't believe just like we do. Uh, we can also treat uh, our uh, neighbors or even our family to come together um, and join us for this uh, trip to Sights and Sounds. Uh, we met uh, as a men's fellowship uh, yesterday and we all agree that this is a rare opportunity to invite somebody uh, who doesn't believe like us because it's a Thanksgiving trip uh, to, to them. So I need uh, people who will tell me that you are going to join because I have a deadline tomorrow. Uh, I, you know, uh, I'm a person who just think of solution if nobody is going to help me. I said, uh, I might as well treat all the children's choir uh, to this uh, trip because uh, it's easier. But I don't like to do that just like that. I want everyone to think of somebody that you'd like to invite. Uh, the place is like Broadway. The music is actually more than like Broadway. And it's a Christian production. And so I'd like to invite you to please let me know today uh, that you are going uh, for November 28th to watch Miracle of Christmas. I actually expecting miracle in itself. Second, uh, I'm going to invite you for our annual Thanksgiving uh, and mission banquet. Uh, we are going to have a concert if in the U.S. there's a Grammy Award, in the Philippines there's called Aliu Awards. I'm bringing one of the singer uh, here on that day, November 21 at 6 p.m. I have an invitation here, and he's going to uh, share with us uh, his gift of music. We have invited somebody here before by the name of uh, Susan Balabagan. Uh, Sarah, I'm sorry, uh, she had been discipled by a, a, um, a singer by the name of Dulce. This singer also had been uh, associated with her uh, in the music industry. His name is Genmai uh, de Asis. Uh, he is a part of the Philippines' uh, uh, fourth tenor. Um, that means um, he is in a in a group that had won awards uh, since 2012. And we are bringing him here, uh, an extra gift. A member of the Philippine Madrigal Singer will be a guest, uh, uh, guest also singer in, in this uh, uh, banquet. So you have great food and a great singer. And also I was prodded that since uh, this singer is from the Philippines, we would like to turn it as a, uh, a Philippine, uh, Philippine night celebration, which means we would like to ask all the Filipinos to wear your Filipino uh, dresses. And for our non-Filipino uh, guests, uh, please, and if you like to wear one, please see me and I can lend you uh, a Filipino uh, dress or dresses. And so this is November 21, 6 o'clock, right here at ICF. And uh, also, we are uh, going to, uh, I don't know if it's included in the bulletin, we would like to, uh, again, let you know, uh, election will be November 22 uh, for our uh, new set of church officers. So please be here on that Sunday for our uh, election time. And I think uh, that's all for announcement. Thank you very much. And 
Thank you very much, Pastor Jody, for being with us uh, this morning. I didn't know that uh, we, I thought we were just, uh, we just attended the same university, but um, I didn't know that you're also an IVCF, you know. So I think you see uh, many people from IVCF are serving. <laughs> I hope we can keep that up. <laughs> Let's all stand as we sing our uh, closing hymn, which is in 